Hey guys and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to install Windows 8 via Boot Camp on an unsupported Mac. So what this basically means is here I am on my Mac, this is a Mac Mini mid-2007 and I've opened up um, Boot Camp Assistant as you can see here. And when I hit continue, it will say install Windows 7. So the only way to get Windows on this Mac is to install Windows 7 only. So I will not be able to get Windows 8. However, there is a way around that. So if you were to press this and, in and insert your Windows 8 disk, it won't let you continue because it doesn't want you to install Windows 8. So what you want to do is you want to hit, tick this, install Windows 7, then press continue. Now it says um, the installer disk could not be found. So press OK. Now what you want to do is you want to get a Windows 7 install DVD. So in my hand right now I've got a Windows 7 install DVD. You don't have to buy it, you can get an ISO off the internet and burn it to the disk because you won't actually be using Windows 7, you're just going to use this to trick the Mac. So I'm just going to insert it into my Mac now. So I've just inserted my Windows 7 install DVD and now I'm going to press continue. Uh, it's just can't find it yet. Just wait a little bit. Okay, so here we are now at the partitioning thing. So it thinks I'm going to install Windows 7 because I've just inserted the Windows 7 install DVD. So now I'm going to partition the disks. Now pretend you're installing Windows 8. How much do you want for Windows 8? How much do you want for OS 10? So at the moment, um, just for this example, I don't want to. I'm just going to do 20 gigabytes. So it depends how much you want. If you're doing it for gaming, you might, might you might want more. But this is how much you want for Windows 8, and this is how much you want for OS 10. And then you want to hit um, the bottom right here, install. So now what it's going to do is it's going to partition the disk, and I will be back with you soon when it's done. O okay, guys. So now it automatically switches off. And it's going to reboot again. And while it's booting, you have to hold the Alt key down. This is really, really important. So, when it finishes partitioning the disk, it will automatically turn off the Mac and turn it back on again. And while it's turning back on, when it does a startup chime, you have to hold down the Alt key, also known as the Option key. And you get to this screen here. And if I just come in a bit, this these are your boot options. So you have Macintosh HD there, which is my hard drive for Mac and the Windows 7 install DVD now this is where this is where you have to switch the CDs so at the moment it's as if you're going to install Windows 7 but you don't want to install Windows 7 you want to install Windows 8 so what you want to do now is you want to hover over Windows um, go over to the Windows install DVD Windows 7 and press eject so I'm going to press eject on my keyboard now and the DVD has been ejected from my Mac. Now what you want to do is you want to insert your Windows 8 install DVD. Now, for most older Macs, this is going to be a 32-bit one. Mine's 32-bit. So you insert your Windows 8 32-bit or whatever bit it is install DVD. And just wait for it to appear as a boot option. And there it is. And then what you want to do is you want to go over it to it, hit enter, and boot up from it. So basically how this works is the Mac only allows Windows 7. So you have to trick it into thinking that you're installing Windows 7. Because it won't let you continue if you insert a Windows 8 disk. And once you've tricked it into thinking that, it will partition the disk for Windows 7. But then all you have to do is insert Windows 8 and it will install Windows 8 where the Windows 7 partition was supposed to be. I know it's quite complicated, but... Bear with me, it works. And as you can see now, we're booting into Windows 8. And I'll be back with you when it has... Okay, guys, I'm not quite sure, but that took really long to boot up. If it, if that happens to you, don't worry, but it does eventually boot up. And here you are now in your Windows 8 um, sort of introduction screen. So you choose your language, your time, your keyboard and all that. Press Next, then press Install Now. And I will be back with you when the setup is finished. Okay, guys, I'm assuming you bought your Windows 8 install DVD because obviously you need it to to install Windows. 
you can get the Windows 7 one using Piracy or whatever because you're not exactly using it. You're only using it to trick the Mac. You're not actually physically using the Windows 7. But for Windows 8, you should have probably bought it. Now you want to enter in your product key. And when you finish that, you want to choose the boot cam partition that you partitioned earlier, format it, continue, and it will be just be like any normal boot camp install, and then you will be with Windows 8. So yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. Just as a summary, go into boot camp, you insert your Windows 7, partition your disk, then as you boot up again, remove the Windows 7 and put in the Windows 8, and boot up, and it will be just like any normal boot camp install. Thanks for watching the video guys, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Comment if you have a question, a problem, or if you just want to say something, and peace.